Fuck is up, guys. What's going on? This is John with Dope Talk TV Studios. And, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, man, we just took a shot. We're feeling good. I'm with my dog. Oh, baby. Go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Right, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I'm Simply Dan. Uh, yeah. This is his new motherfucking single, by the way. I'm feeling this shit. For sure. What I need. What a shame. She's a victim to the game. Made it for the fame, then her life changed. Mm. Okay. Yo. I'm feeling this shit, bro. Yo, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You have Apple Music. You have everything, right? Yes, sir. But. Music videos out too. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's how we do it. What's going on, brother? Not much, man. You know, living life, dropping music, day to day. You know. That's what's up, bro. Fucking how how long do you drive? Like, what is it? Like 30, 40 minutes? To here? Yeah. It's like an hour, dude. Holy <laughs> shit, man. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I, I had to come show some love. Yeah, bro, man. You showed up on my birthday too, man. Yeah. What? Wait, today? Nah, bro. I was, like, I was like, what? Nah, you showed up on my birthday like last year, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. I remember that, yeah. That was a good time, bro. I turned 27. I'm about to be 28 pretty soon. That's how time I'm fucking flies. Boat, I know. What you been up to? Ain't shit, man. Just uh, making music. Uh, just grinding hard on the music, really. Uh, that's really all I've been doing. Trying to make content, get progressed better as a person. Uh, working on finances and stuff. Started a new side hustle. Doing trading stocks, Forex, crypto, stuff like that. Mm. Uh, maybe that's pretty much the most of what I've been doing. Not, ain't shit changed, bro. It's, game stays the same no matter what. Hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. I seen you went to Miami not too long ago, right? I'm just dude, I, in and out of Miami. I, I, I used to tell people I live in Miami and Orlando because I'm so back and forth with it. It's, uh, it's good times. That's what's up. What you got a couple of like doctors or, or dentists? Well, I seen you had like a <laughs> dentist friend or some shit like that. No, that's my shout out to my cousin. My cousin's a dentist. Oh and- shit. <laughs> Yo, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, my cousin's into this, so my brother's an attorney. So, oh damn, bro, yeah. that's what's up, man. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Uh, so, what you, uh, what type of projects do you have coming, dude? I have so much music, uh, dude. I, I've been vaulting a bunch of stuff, uh, even last year. So, actually, what I need is one a song I've had for two, maybe a year and a half. It's been in the vault. I just haven't had the time to like really give it the love, and you know what it needs ironic uh <laughs> yeah for real facts uh so i just waited a little bit now i got everything lined up i have so many releases i mean i could drop a project but i think singles are the, uh, are the vibe and the wave to go nowadays so um it's true like russ yeah i mean because i mean you know for instance like no one's really gonna like if i drop an album and you don't know who i am you're not most likely gonna listen to the whole thing you don't like the first song you, you're not gonna trickle down that's Less true likely so if i show you one song you might be like all right this is hot let's go to something else what do you got so that's what i've been on um but yeah dude i've had i have uh, maybe 15 20 25 tracks like ready to go damn right now yeah that's what's up bro yeah he has like one of the best studios i ever seen bro because my shit is like it's decent me and jay we got like you know what i'm saying we got like a little bit of you know what i'm saying right. nothing, nothing too crazy but you your shit's insulated like it yeah. seems pretty dope like it's, it's in your room yeah yeah it's uh it's actually behind a, a hidden uh cabinet so if you walk in it's completely you can't see it but whose idea was that it was actually uh my pop's idea he was like it was <laughs> I turned into like a, he had one of the secret room. I don't know, maybe like a childhood dream of his. Yeah. You know? So he's like, I'm gonna build one. And turned it into a studio. So I was like, That's what's up. Okay. And where where are you from originally? You said you're Persian, right? Yeah, I'm Persian. Okay. That's what's up. When's the last time you've been back home? Um, I can't go back home. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> nah, <laughs> man, guys, we shouldn't be talking. We shouldn't be talking about yeah, this shit, yeah. man. What the hell? Why not, bro? Uh, I'm a dual citizen, so I'll be drafted. That's kind of that's kind of what it is. Dual citizenship. Yeah, I was supposed to have that because my dad lives in Norway. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, Norway's bro. Norway's a good citizenship to have, actually. Yeah, it is. Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to. My dad was uh, planning to get me and my brother on dual citizenship, and then my parents got divorced and. 
you know, yeah. whatever. You know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I mean, I'm sometimes saying? it's better to not have it, you know, because I run into so so many caveats. Uh, like I, before I got TSA pre-check, bro, they saw I was a dual citizen. I randomly screened every time. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Anywhere I go, security, if they can see that, they're like, "All right, check that guy." Check that <laughs> fucking guy, bro. <laughs> How do you feel about like America and where it's headed right now? Um, I like to say optimistic. Uh, okay. But as far as like what economically or like society wise, just like just society. Society wise, I feel like we're uh, we're we're kind of going downhill, really, because I feel like people are losing moral values and like not respecting each other and like you know what is considered old fashioned is just like I feel like that's just standard living, like. Uh, we we're talking about it earlier, like for instance, like women and stuff. It's like you know their standards or their like needs is like it's like all it's all it's all fucked. It's all like upside down, you know. That's true. One, one. Yeah. That's um, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of where I feel like it is. But with that, I mean, I like to like I said, I like to stay optimistic. I like to have hope in the world. I was you know, every time I go out, I try to show love. You know, include everyone. But I feel like. Every time I do that, I have people that have become good friends and they're like, damn, bro, like I've never met someone like you or like this is like weird for them. And I'm like, this is like for me, this is just how I grew up. It's, you know it's normal. Be a, be a good person. Right. right exactly. I'm it's like, like, what the fuck? It's like, yo, I say, what's up? And shake your hand. You're like, dude, this guy's amazing. It's like, what, dude? That's fucking <laughs> yeah, bro. I remember going to one of my boy's birthday parties. It was at the club recently, like maybe like five months ago, some shit like that. Right. And, um, uh, I remember passing out some joints and shit. Like, I was just passing out joints. Right. Nothing crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's your birthday. Right. Yeah. I'm going to pop off for your birthday. Exactly. And you know, and he's like, that, they were like so surprised. Like, he was like thanking me and thanking me. I was like, bro, like, this is normal to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. my friends look out for me. I remember my boy, heck, bro, every birthday from like 15 to like 20. He would roll me up a joint. One time he rolled me up an extendo and he was like, here, bro, happy <laughs> birthday, bro. Or happy 21st and shit. Like, you know, like, I don't know, just little shit like that, bro. And you said you you've been around your boys since like elementary school, right? Oh, dude, I have uh, what four or five like real tight friends. Like I know they take a bullet for me. I've known them since middle school, elementary. One of them since elementary, the rest since middle. So like almost going on fifteen plus years now. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Like we grew up together. Like you know, it's like that's that's like my brother. I don't I don't call him nothing else. Exactly. Like, you're not you're not my boy, you're my brother. It's like Yeah, bro. Like, and like how important do you think it is for like, you know, artists and stuff like that coming up, like keeping the same circle? I mean, it's 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 super important, I feel like, right? Yeah, for sure. No, I mean actually the reason I started making music is because of one of my homeboys. It was like he wanted to pursue this as his dream and you know, life career. And then I would, you know, you know, support him, whatever. And then everyone was like, yo, you're actually like hot at this. And then I just fucking was like, all right, I hate my life. It was during COVID. So I was like, I hate my life. Let me uh, try this out. And then here I am now. So that's what's up, bro. Yeah. That's insane, man. Bro, have you ever tried surfing? Surfing? Yeah. Mm, one time, uh, but I tried it in, where was it? Fuck. Uh, it was in Guatemala. Uh, Damn. El, yeah, it was in El Padron. Waves were massive, dude. And I was like, I got my ass beat. I was like, uh, never again. Guatemala. Yeah, it was a good time, but nah, surfing's not for me. I know I get that like surfer look. Yeah, like, bro. I would love to pick it up, but I know I feel like I have the capability and skill set. But I mean, I'm, I'm not a strong swimmer, dude. For real? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a strong Damn, swimmer, bro. I love the swim, bro. That's insane, man. I'm not afraid of the ocean either, bro. I don't. I don't think I've ever been. I mean, I love the water. I feel like that too. Yeah, like I, you know, I love yeah. being in the water. Just you know, throw me a floaty, go chill in there. <laughs> yeah, bro. But I know some people that won't touch the water whatsoever. Yeah, that's kind of weird to me. You know, it's like, it's a, what, do you, what do you mean? You, you're there's well, sharks. Like, of course there's sharks, bro. Shit, dude. There's where there's like like anaconda, like lizards. There's a there's cars. You know, more people die from cars than uh, shark attacks. Getting hit by cars. So it's like, damn, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You're more safer to fly in, a, in an airplane than it is driving right yeah i think so yeah i uh, believe so that's yeah that's nuts. that's insane dude. there's not a lot of air airplane accidents or plane crashes nah bro that's crazy how old are you now 27 about to be 28 oh you're the same age as me yeah, bro yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> holy shit bro again when's your birthday again october october yeah. october bro what are you uh leo uh if i said yes would you be like yeah i knew it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's bro the that's the game i play no i'm a libra Libra, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense, man. I'm a Gemini, bro. 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That's why my best friends are Gemini, most of them. Yeah, 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 bro. It's crazy, man. We're we're misunderstood, bro. I think you guys got like, uh, yeah, misunderstood is a good way to put it. I think y'all's views is like generally what I've seen is like uh, y'all think one thing, but sometimes you also mean another. It's like misinterpreted of your words. Yeah, like, this is what I said, but that's not necessarily how I was trying to have you understand that. Exactly. So wow, <laughs> that was a fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> that's funny, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. amazing, bro. I've never heard that before. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like the misunderstood part, yeah. But like, why we're misunderstood? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like I said, my one of my best friends, like 15 plus years of Gemini, and he took me a while to realize that. I mean, at first I thought he was just an idiot, like not not a bad way, like yeah, I mean, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then I figured out, like, oh, uh, I fig- I see how your brain works now. We, like, I understand. Hmm, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, what do you have planned for this uh this coming summer? Anything crazy? You gonna go uh, somewhere? Dude, I don't even know, dude. I don't even plan my days out. Like, uh, I'm about to, I'm about to head to this music festival. I, I got my ticket yesterday. It was like, yeah. And it's next weekend. So. What's it called? Uh, Okeechobee Music Festival. And where's that based out of? It's in Okeechobee. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> that makes sense. No shit. Yeah. The fuck, man. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, I've heard of those are like wild though. Yeah, camping festivals are a whole different ball game. Like, I've been to EDC, so I like electronic music. Uh, always loved growing up whatever uh, so i've always been to those festivals okeechobee's like all all genres like little yachty's gonna perform there so it's gonna be dope yeah apparently he's gonna perform his new rock album i don't know if you heard that uh no but i heard about it I, and i heard i saw the 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 style i don't know if you guys saw the hairstyle of uzi he had like one of those like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the guys are saying you know the memes like <laughs> you know you seen those on tiktok you know what i'm talking about yeah, with the emo i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah bro yeah actually also i haven't listened to it but i i was planning on i knew he was gonna perform soon so i was gonna go see him and then i was like i like to keep everything like a mystery so when i pull up it's like i'm like feeling the vibe not like oh this is hot i should listen to that mm. so, yeah and like it, you said that like that's your favorite type of genre like yeah i like electronic music a lot um, I mean, mostly it's because like when I started making music, I mean, I always liked it, but when I started making music, it was like, I noticed when I would listen to certain artists and hip hop, it was like, I would go into the studio and now I'm sounding like this person. I'm sounding like that person. So I completely like really disconnected. Like there was a whole year, two years. I didn't listen to no hip hop at all. Damn. Like, unless in the club it played, that was it. But, like on my free time, didn't do that. Um, and then that was just mostly... So, you know, I could find my own sound and whatnot. And then uh, that just, you know, I could listen to house music. There's no lyrics in it, bro. Just, yeah. You know. And you're, you're back in the you're back in the downtown life, I see, bro. Yeah, I'm fortunate. It's a little bit unfortunate for that one. <laughs> but <laughs> share, it's not, yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. Double-edged sword. Yeah, sure. bro. For sure, for sure. Yeah, bro. I mean, I used to work downtown and I loved it, man. I've met so many people. It's all about networking. Yeah, for sure. I mean, downtown is a great place to meet people, especially in Miami. Like, yeah, anywhere you go in Miami, bro. I remember like going outside to the bar uh, across from my brother's uh, place, and it was like it's like MMA fighter. It was like right there. I was like, what? That's insane. Yeah, that's insane, dude. You never know who you're gonna meet over there. I mean, here too, but yeah, yeah. I went for my twenty fourth. Um, I didn't, I didn't see nothing crazy. I went to like the strip club with my mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What nah bro shout out my mom man and hector was there my uncle that's, uh, yeah, that's, you know that's uh, his girl his wife um that's real that's super real yeah, yeah it was crazy it was some real shit my mom pulled up for real and then like we were just turning the fuck up that's dope dude yeah i, I mean that's like you know that's like bucket list yeah i went to a strip club with my mom it's like in miami yeah. on my 24th <laughs> and then like i got picked up by like a, a russian stripper and she was like hey how you doing <laughs> And I was just like, like just don't talk you look great <laughs> yeah beautiful <laughs> and she and she was just like oh it's your birthday huh? and I was just like yeah it's my birthday she's like alright free dance and I said oh okay see you and my mom looked back she was like oh shit was it really free though no yeah so no, 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 like, no, not free. no it wasn't free bro I fucking ended up tipping her a hundred bucks cause I felt bad on my birthday yeah uh, and that's kind of normal down there it is bro yeah. apparently apparently it's like a hundred dollars like a minute or some shit I don't fucking know bro it, yeah. it felt like it it's like if you're not tipping, give them a hundred you're not walking and you're not they won't even look at you yeah bro like I heard like VIP's like ten thousand 
Uh, I'm not too familiar. I mean, I, I personally, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of strip clubs. Yeah. It's like, oh, why, why would I pay to tease myself? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, the first time going to the strip club was 24. That's pretty late. Yeah. I mean, right? I think mine would not. I mean, I'm on the same boat as you. I mean, really? I think the first time I went to the strip club was uh, maybe 20, I think 24. Yeah, maybe something around that age. Dude. Yeah, bro. It was insane, man. And it was 24 hours. So it blew my freaking mind. What, 11? Oh, yes, 11. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's technically not a strip club. It's it's a... But no, that, that's how they market it. I don't know. I don't know what it, what it was. It's definitely a strip club. You walk in there, there's only strippers. But, sorry, dancers. And it, yeah, dancers. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And, and, and you know what's crazy is that um, <clears throat> they were everywhere. There was like a lot. Yeah, they make sure the ratio was good. Yeah, bro. It's like five to one, girls to guys. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, came, <laughs> I came out and it was daytime and I was like, wow. Yeah. So this is Miami. I'm really living the Miami life. Dude, Miami's a whole different ball game, bro. There's no sleeping. Legitimately no sleeping. Yeah. And uh, my dad used to work for Norwegian Cruise Line, so I would go to Miami a lot growing up. Dope. So like I would, you know, you know, the, the cruise ships will fucking leave from Miami and shit. Yeah. You ever been on a cruise? I actually just recently went on one uh, January, beginning of this year. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Which one? Um, fuck. MSC. MSC. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was yeah. dope, dude. I mean, I hit the casino there. I mean, I was, I mean, everyone knew me at the end of the cruise because, uh, say I look like Jesus. So everyone was like, yo, walk on water. Like, everyone's fucked up. So yeah, everyone's talking shit. Yeah. yeah. But I uh, hit the casino, bro. I was banking, dude. What? Uh, yeah, What's yeah. the most amount of money you ever made? At a casino? Um, I turned, so I'll tell you what. So I can't even really remember, but at this particular time, it was, I turned $60 into 1500 on this trip and i paid for my cruise and everything get the fuck out of here yeah yeah no it was a great story so I, let me be honest i turned that 60 to 1500 i lost the 1500 walked in the next day turned a hundred dollars into like 1200 and i walked away with that oh my god yeah dude luck was on my side bro everyone was like you know like there was so many people around me they were just like Stealing my energy, like Jesus, he's Jesus with the cards. He's dude. Jesus with dude, the, the cards. The boss was loving me, dude. I was yelling. I didn't have a voice for like two weeks. <laughs> I kid you not, I did not have a voice for two now, weeks. Now, what's the worst amount of money? Like the like the biggest loss? At a casino? Uh, I think I've lost like four hundred bucks. Yeah, on one single sitting. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I just go up and down, back and forth. But I think four hundred dollars that I've lost. Straight up. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of good with, like, you know, my risk management when it comes to things like that. Yeah, some people don't have that. Yeah, no, my boy, uh, <laughs> the recent, recently went to the Hard Rock, and my boy was not not good with it. He turned this, what, like, 400 into, like, 3,500, 3, blew it all, put down another 800, lost it immediately. He was down, we walked away, he was down, like, $1,200, <laughs> and he was, like... <laughs> And it, the funniest part, he just shrugged it off. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, fuck it. He was like, ah, damn, sorry. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? We spent like two hours there and you lost $1,200. <laughs> bro, yeah. I would have been depressed, bro. Yeah, for real. I, that's why I don't gamble, bro. I swear, I lose every single time, bro. Every time I bet and there's money involved, I lose. When I bet and there's no money involved, I win. I think that's a mindset, though. You kind of like, you know curated that in your mind every time there's something like risking you're like ah yeah i don't i don't know just when it comes to gambling like i never grew up going I, like i don't even know how to play cards really yeah that's i mean that blows my mind it, yeah, yeah that's insane like if we went over to the guy's house like let's play some cards i'd be like <laughs> what goldfish like yeah <laughs> like I, I don't even play that <laughs> i play like dominoes like true true you know dominoes is dope, dope. I'll, I'll play yeah. dominoes and shit but i never bet you know i just grew up playing you know with my uncles and shit uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cards, cards have been a part of my life. Yeah, growing up, I just play card games with the fam. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have gambling issues. You ever see those people in the in the slot machines all day and night? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they're not like risking a lot, dude. They're like two cent, five cent bets. You know, you throw a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, and they're like most of them are retirement. That's true. And it's like you gotta think like, all right, so those older older people, it's like that's their stimulation. Like we had our cell phone, we have our cell phones. I want to be stimulated. I just scroll. This is their scrolling. They don't know how to work an iPhone, bro. They click this button. These colors pop in their face. They're like, uh. <laughs> Caesar and shit. Yeah. And they're like, I hit the jackpot. I'm only down 20 grand, but. There was a lady that won, like, I think it was like 20 million recently. Really? And, like, they said it was like a, a malfunction in the, in the machine. Right, right. I think I remember seeing uh, something about that. Yeah, everyone's going to, yeah, no, I'm not leaving until I get my money. Yeah, no, I mean, well, they could kick her out, but yeah, yeah. I feel, I mean, I'm I mean, suing, I'm though. Right. 
Yeah, so that's the thing about casinos. You can't. So it's, what? Yeah, it's because you're on private property. You're you're coming into their terms. It's like written on their website. If you walk in and bet, like they have every right to kick you out. And every right to kick your ass if you don't pay either. I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, they probably will. Definitely for sure. Like the low mob key, and shit. Yeah, low key. For, probably definitely. But. They said that the mob kind of like that ran was, the whole thing in Las Vegas and shit. Yeah. Like I mean, mobsters and all that shit. Back in the day, yeah. I mean, and so we live in Florida, so it's like now everything's like on Native American land. Oof. So they're just banking on us, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> good for them. If I could I, open a casino, I would straight up. Yeah, bro. I mean, I feel like it's good long laundering. Yeah, scheme. definitely. I mean, it's all, mostly cash business. Yeah, bro. What's that? What's that movie called? Uh, twenty one. No, not twenty one. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, Ozark. Ozark. You never seen Ozark? I don't think so. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's about a. Uh, it's like the Mexican cartel. Uh, he was basically uh, an accountant for the Mexican cartel, and his oh, yeah, and his brother actually uh, got too greedy with the money. And the boss found out and killed him oh, yeah. in front of him. Yeah. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. rounded everybody else up and just like murked everybody. I was like, I mean, I'm not surprised. We were talking about the cartel here. If you were like, you know, something else, but that's, that's still wild. Imagine like seeing that. How do you feel about like the government and the cartels? You feel like they work together? Um, Are you into that conspiracy shit or not really? Yeah, I I love conspiracy. Okay. I just want to make sure. Anything that makes me like start thinking like where I got to like really sit down and like use my brain. Yeah, like the UFO, UFOs and shit like that we've been so hearing about. I think that's a cover up for Me the too. Ohio, what's going on in Ohio and other things, uh, but particularly like the Ohio one. Like we got one little news article about the Ohio, like how there's this giant chemical cloud literally killing and polluting massive amounts of people. And then all of a sudden we have a spy balloon, countless UFOs, and that's where everyone's focus is like, oh, UFOs. Yeah. And it's like, what, the, what I think is funny is that they say UFOs, but that doesn't mean it's like, when I say they say UFOs, it's not like an alien, bro. It's just like, they don't know what's in there. Like, it could be a Chinese plane or whatever country plane. That's a UFO. They don't know what it is. So, exactly. They yeah. don't know what the fuck it is, bro. Like, I didn't even look at the news. I don't even remember the last time I, I actually, like, watched TV. I feel that, yeah. I, I, I think the Super Bowl was the last time I watched TV. Ah, so the Super Bowl, I didn't even watch that. I feel like... I'm an Eagles fan. I had to. Ah, bro. Though. I don't know, man. I'm just really like, I feel like the, like the performances and shit like that and concerts, certain concerts, I feel like like they do some like weird voodoo shit on you. Do you believe in that or is that like too I, I, much? No, no. I mean, I've, I've heard about those things, but I mean, like what? So for instance, like, are you thinking, are you talking about like how Uzi did some shit or like the Travis guy, like walk into the portal, like that kind of concern. Yeah. Like that type of shit, you know, people dying or like maybe they right. just, they put you in a trance, like MK ultra or some shit. Right. Um, I think, I think they're more or less. So I mean, it could be two ways. I mean, that's like, I mean, you gotta really look the facts there, but I feel like in some sense they could like, you know, I mean, he just wanted to make it a fucking theme park, bro. Like you just walk into his mouth, but exactly. People, people like correlate that to like, I remember watching a little like 30 minute documentary about that, how it's like walking into the portal and there's like all this symbolism. Um, but I mean, you really could just do that about everything. I mean, you can relate anything to anything at this point. Yeah. Um, Dead ass. But I also think that they might even be playing into that. So like, for instance, uh, recently Doja Cat's like, I'm, I'm going to start playing into like this Illuminati thing because people think it's crazy. And I mean, at the end of the day, what's your goal as an artist? Be in front of everyone, have everyone talk about you. If I say I'm in with the Illuminati, y'all look at me up immediately so it's like why not yep you know what i'm saying yeah why not? what i feel like they are playing with it because in most songs like even in spanish songs you know they'll be like illuminati yeah and it's like oh and they put you know what if they're just doing it just because they know that people are like whoa there's conspiracy theories like oh i'll figure you out motherfucker right right and then they'll start like yeah i mean i mean i think it's a marketing tactic is there some sort of secret society that runs everything 100 there's, percent. Yeah. there's people that control it but I think some of that is just like definitely played into. Yeah. I mean, I'll follow the conspiracies. I'll think they're interesting. Yeah. For sure. What if somebody gave you like, you know, like a $50 million deal, record deal? Right now? And there was just, you know, there was, you didn't read the contract. You know what I'm saying? And there's certain things that are involved in the contract. So, I mean, I, thank God. Shout out to my big brother. He's an attorney, dude. So. Say. <laughs> Yo, shout that. out to you, bro. I got that covered, but in the off chance that someone was like fifty million right now, and I had to read it, whatever, 
Um, I mean, I mean, I'm in contract, dude. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I know, what am bro. I supposed to do? That's why, guys, read your contract now. You know what I'm saying? Like for sure, because you don't know what's in that bitch. It could be anything. It could be maybe like one, two points off the album, off each album that you sell. Right, forever too. They could have act, even after the contract ends. I mean, that, that that's a similar situation that happened with uh, what's his name, Mario Judah. That's what happened to him. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking about him. Um, so apparently what happened was that uh, he has a manager when he was making all this hype about dropping a whole lot of red, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he got a bunch of hype and the record labels came to him were like, this is the deal. And his manager was like, it's a shitty deal. Don't sign it. And I guess it got to his head. He went behind his manager's deal, signed the contract, and they benched his ass. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't heard. He just got... They took him off the shelf, bro. Yeah, they were like, nah, this is you were just a one time thing kind of deal. I mean, who knows what happened? But I mean, that's I mean, that's what happened. Who knows if that's the reason why? Maybe he is working on something, but yeah. from the facts, and his manager came out and said he signed it. His former manager said he signed like a shitty deal. So. Yeah. You feel like Young Thug's gonna come out? I hope so. Me too. I, I, I shout out Young Thug, Thug yeah. yeah. I grew up on Thug. Um I think he's gonna have to do some sort of time for sure. Yeah. I think. I like mean, Bobby, just, yeah. I, mean, I feel like he's 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 got to. Someone's got to do some time, and he's at the head of it. You know, he's the owner of YSL. I mean, he's kind of like the yeah. the head honcho in that that group. So, right. and you know, Gunna came in late, so he he like walked away. Was able to like finagle his way out against his charges. Um, I think I haven't followed the case, but I feel like how they were prosecuting him, he was. They said they were both the leaders, but in reality, it's not. Yeah. So that's how I feel like Gunna was able to get out. But I don't know. I haven't looked at the case. Yeah. Until I hear what you know, Thugga has to say about that situation, because right. we don't know. Maybe Thugga was like, "Bro, listen, like I don't even. This is my fault." Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, I feel like so. That's that's something I thought about. It was like, yo, so everyone was like, yo, Gunna's a snitch. Gunna's a snitch. I have, I don't know, but there's something in me saying that like Thug was like. Just rat on me, bro. Get out. Take care of my family. Run everything. I'll take the blame for everything. I feel like uh, he seems like that would be in care. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does, bro. Like, yeah. we don't know. Like, hey, man, just I'll take the blame. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah. you got, I want I want you to continue to make music. You know, someone has to continue. Right. You know what I'm saying? To to keep YSL pop- popping, bro. Right. Because that's usually the case sometimes. You know, look at Young Dolph. Yeah. In his camp, you know? Yeah, we got Key Glock, but like Young Dolph was kind of like the money maker. For sure, for sure. You know, so yeah, bro, that's insane, man. Shout out to Young Thug. Hope he gets out soon. Free Thugger. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm about to put your song back on, bro, because shit's getting, you know, we got like three minutes left. All right. Yeah, bro. So what's up with you? What you going to do today? You going to hit the gym? I'm about to go hit the gym and then uh, get ready for my uh, for my trip out, oh, man. Got to go enjoy this weekend. Yeah, bro. Yes, sir. Guys, make sure you check out the music video. What I need. I got it. I'll have everything in the link in the description. Yeah. This is something like I feel like you could just like light up to. Right. It's definitely a vibe. Really vibe out. Like I see myself driving down the highway, windows down. Beautiful day, just like today. Yeah, this is very chill, bro. It's just I don't know. I think it's the mute uh, trumpet that really just like yeah. put you in that mood. Oh, baby, you. But. Yeah, this was a good song to make. It's, it's actually in the video. Where was it placed? Here in Orlando? Or? Yeah, it was the same one that made Ride the Wave. Uh, okay. It was in. It was in Kissimmee. Shout out Jack Nine Films. Uh, awesome director. Um, yeah, he 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 absolutely murdered that music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking clean, man. Yeah, yeah. There was. Uh, I saw that and I was like, damn, dude. I was not expecting this. What's his name again? Uh, his his name is Josh, but he goes by Jack Nine Films. Jack Nine Films. All right, brother. Shout out to you, man. You did a really good job, bro. Yeah, hey, super dope. That's what's up. Man. And um, so this is just a single. You don't you you don't have an album. Well, you're not gonna do albums no more. You're just doing singles. Uh, for now, just singles. Yeah, I might might drop an EP surprise. Maybe to clear some music, but I think it's just singles the way out. Don't worry, bro. Hey, man. This is it, guys. I got my dog with me. You have anything else to say to the Dope Talk family? Uh, no, that's it, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for showing love to Dope Talk TV and, and myself. Uh, that's about it, yeah. All right, brother. Peace out. Take it easy. Thank you, tell me if the feeling feels right. Let's run it. Let us more than what I see. Let's get real.